The Library Learning Commons at Lake Washington Institute of Technology would like to introduce you to ProQuest, one of our research databases that holds thousands of articles from newspapers, trade journals, peer-reviewed journal, peer -reviewed journals, books, and more. EBSCOhost is one of the research databases the librarians recommend for locating scholarly peer-reviewed articles, which might be required in class assignments or research papers. In the center of the front page of ProQuest are some of the subject areas covered in this research database. The arts, business, health and medicine, literature and language, news and newspapers, science and technology, and social sciences. We are here on the opening page of ProQuest and directly in the center of the front page is a large search box. Below the search box on the left hand side are two checkboxes. One is for full text and peer reviewed. The full text checkbox is always selected. If we were looking for scholarly articles in ProQuest, we, we would select this checkbox for peer reviewed. If we wanted more search options from the front page of ProQuest, we, we would move up to the toolbar area above and select advanced search, publications, browse, or databases. Advanced search is also available below the large search box on the right hand side. Let's use the large search box to launch a search on medical ethics. Once we have medical ethics typed in, we can either hit enter or select the green magnifying glass icon button to the right of the search box. Just below the search box are our other subject areas. For our search on medical ethics, we could select the health and medicine icon located three icons in here in between business and history. Selecting the health and medicine subject area would keep our search results focused on those publications in the ProQuest research database that fall under the health and medicine umbrella. We are going to do a general search on medical ethics in ProQuest, so let's hit the green magnifying glass button. Since we did not select peer reviewed from the main search page, we have over 278,000 results that are all full text. The search box is located at the top of the page, just below the ProQuest Global Navigation Toolbar. Below the search box, we still have our two options for full text and to the right of this, peer reviewed. Let's check the box for peer reviewed. Click the green magnifying glass icon again. We now have over 224,000 results for articles. Right below the search box is a related search, related searches area. The related searches area provides suggestions to refine our search and bring our search results numbers down. Let's click on the suggestion for medical ethics and physicians. We now have 3,601 results. Below the number of results in the left-hand panel is a drop-down box where we can sort our list of results by relevance to our search terms, or oldest first or most recent first. From this drop-down box, let's go ahead and select most recent first and click sort. When we use the related searches feature, it took away our full text limiter. Let's go back up to the search box at the top and select the full text checkbox below. Select the green magnifying glass button to the right of the search box. We are now down to 1,490 results.
Looking at the narrow results panel to the left of our search results, we have narrowed our search to full text, and there is an option here to further limit to peer-reviewed. Directly below peer-reviewed in this side panel is source type. Here we can click on any of the options here to further refine our search results by source, including scholarly journals, trade journals, magazines, newspapers, dissertations and theses, etc. Below the source type area in the left-hand panel is a publication date area with a slider. Moving the slider buttons, we can limit our search results to a specific span of years. Let's move the slider to the right until we get to 2010. Now we will click the green button for update right below. We now have 120 articles to we now have 220 articles to choose from. There are many other options for refining our search results in the left-hand side panel, and it is best to discover these as we become com comfortable with the ProQuest research database. To the right of the left-hand side panel is our list of search results. The search results are numbered and have checkboxes next to them. To the left of the brief article information provided for each item is a gray icon that indicates source type. In this listing, there's a gray graduation cap icon that indicates a peer-reviewed journal while an open book icon just below indicates a trade journal article. Just below the information for each item in the list results, we want to make sure it says full text or full text PDF. We will select the first article in our search results, which is from a scholarly journal. We will click on the blue hyperlinked article title. All of the information about the article is located here at the top of the page right below the ProQuest global navigation bar. Below the article information are four tabs with the following labels. Full text, full text PDF, abstract details, and references. Below the tabs we have our abstract, which is only a synopsis of the article. Below the abstract is the full text of the article. We can also access the PDF version of the article above using the full text PDF tab. There is a right hand side panel with a search box for searching within selected databases. And below this is a box with a green download PDF button. This is another place where we can download the PDF version of the article we are looking at. In the same box, we also have cite, print, and email option that appear below the green download PDF button. Let's click on the site link. When we click site, a window pops up in the center of the screen. Near the top of this window is a drop-down box with options for all the citation styles available. including APA and MLA. We are going to select APA 6th American Psychological Association 6th edition. After we have selected the citation style we want, we will click the green change button to the right of the drop down box. After we have clicked the change button, our citation will be changed to the appropriate style. Below is a box with the APA formatted citation. We will take our cursor and highlight, it, highlight the formatted citation. We will then go to the web browser toolbar, select edit, and copy from the drop down menu. We would then go to our paper or PowerPoint slide and paste our formatted citation into the works cited or references area. 
Having access to formatted citations is a great way to use resources responsibly in your work. This video tutorial has demonstrated how to use ProQuest, one of the research databases available through the Library Learning Commons website.